Good morning, and welcome to your 61st meditation. Last week's meditation was about making resolutions and how to carry them out. Today we're going to talk about when to carry them out. And you likely won't be surprised by the answer to this question. Now. The answer is now. Now you may say, but I've got all year, and things are very busy right now. I'll just wait until this or that quiets down, and then I'm on it. And as long as I fulfill my resolution by December, I'm good, no? Well, in theory, this is true, yeah. And perhaps if you schedule a very specific start date that makes sense with your schedule, and you hold yourself to that date, then you will indeed be successful. The trouble is most of us don't do that. We put it off and put it off and keep telling ourselves that we'll get to it when our schedule clears. And of course, it never does. You've likely heard the cliche, there's never a good time. It's a cliche for a reason, because it's true. The circumstances you're handed at any given moment are never ideal. It's up to you to make them work in spite of that. Secondly, if you resolve to do something and don't start working on it now, you are conditioning yourself to view that goal as less important. Maybe it truly is less important. Maybe you're busy with your job, making enough money to support your family, parenting, etc., and you need to prioritize all of those duties over your goal of learning Spanish, which seems frivolous by comparison. But if you can turn it over in your head and decide that this resolution is a true priority for you, something that you really want for yourself, then what are you doing waiting to get started? Every day we're living our lives, yes, but we're also practicing how we want to live our lives. We're simultaneously performing and rehearsing all the time. The more we live a certain way, the more we become accustomed to and comfortable with that way of living, and the harder it is to live differently. That means that the longer we don't do the things we know will fulfill us in life, the more we practice living a life absent those things and the less likely we are to ever do them. If it's important enough to you, your kids or your spouse will understand that you need that half an hour a day, or however long it is, to yourself. And even if they don't, you will be modeling qualities such as self-care, ambition, and motivation for them. So even if it may seem a bit selfish, you're in fact demonstrating important values and cultivating a domestic environment where everyone's needs matter. That sounds like good parenting, doesn't it? But I may be moving in six months. But I have to wait for my friend who I promised to do it with. But I'm not ready. It doesn't matter. Just get started. And if you need to correct your course later, then do it. Whatever you lose by having to do so will pale in comparison to how much you gain by living a life where you're always in the act of practicing obtaining what is important to you. Keep it up. You're doing great. Have a wonderful day. This podcast was brought to you by Odium.